So, last episode, you might have noticed that Laszlo was noticeably missing because real life, and that's that's a problem. <laughs> let's let's be honest. But anywho, for most of the time, Laszlo was actually not visible. He was doing some stuff, and for this little interlude, it's time to see his side of the story. So, Laszlo, after your group found Jimmy and came back together after his uh, encounter with a very belligerent monkey. The temple rose from the ground and while everybody was climbing inside that opening in order to check out that temple, uh, Laszlo took guard to make sure that they would not get surprised by any intruders or any shenanigans. They climbed up into the opening. You are now next to that sort of screw-like kind of temple. Mm -hmm. And watching around you. Is there something specific you would like to do? Uh, it's further up out of the ground than it was before, right? Yes, it is. Now the opening of the temple is roughly uh, five feet up. Ish. Five feet up, okay. Five, five to ten feet up. Yeah. Um, any other signs of other windows or... Uh... From what you have seen, uh, if you take a quick gander around the temple, there doesn't seem to be any other opening. But also, since I believe that you were the one who went inside a bit, right? To just mm -hmm. the first few meters. Looking around, you can see that the sort of tunnel that you went in seems to coil all around the temple and you can actually see what you thought was some like screw like kind of motif on the outside it's just the outskirts of the tunnel itself so there's only one opening it's the hole that you guys uncovered and it was decided that i was going to stay out and keep an eye all right um at least there's only one entrance to cover which is right something right um, is it possible to kind of do with any of the uh, dirt and whatnot that's been moved around? Would it be possible to try to fashion a little ramp up in case it decides it wants to keep going higher? In that could definitely be done. You have plenty of uh, dirt, plenty of uh, even fallen trees and rocks everywhere, so you definitely could try that. This is going to be some heavy lifting, though, so I would yep. require a strength check, please. Don't mind. Ah! <laughs> Which is... Uh, a success. A 22. Success. Okay, so that's pretty good. You... It takes you a little bit, because still, 5 to 10 feet up is still mm -hmm. one hell of a ramp to build. But, you know, you, you make with what you do. With as much confidence as you can master because this is not your usual cup of tea you figured that you fashioned a staircase kind of situation where you could easily climb up without having to actually do some climbing mm -hmm. now if the temple were to rise up once more you don't know what you would do to reconstructions but at the moment it is uh, usable um is it possible, uh, first off, I will uh, make sure that the rifle that I have, the 303, is mm -hmm. like loaded and just leaning up against the, the building. So if I need it, I can grab it real quick. And, oh, God. Hopefully, Lazo never needs mm -hmm. to use the gun. But um, is it then also possible to go through and in my notes i have a light backpack with compass and weird paper do you remember what that weird paper was yes uh the weird paper was the markings that uh the odd markings yeah the odd markings that were showing the yep. what you assume was the river and the different sites that i have already checked out is it possible to spend some time and just mm -hmm. reviewing that and seeing if those markings potentially could be Nakal in any way, shape, or form? I would say so. Can you try to make me in... Just a... Hmm. 
Would it be a, a no roll? I w yeah, that would be a no roll, like an intelligence check, basically. Okay. Um, intelligence. So, how um, do I add a bonus die right there? Roll type bonus die. Uh, because quick study, I get a bonus indeed. die to no rolls. <clears throat> oh, that's good. That's an extreme success. Yeah, and it even even rolled a bonus die for some reason. That's interesting. But with an extreme success, first of all, this is definitely Nakal uh, that you are absolutely sure of. Uh, you can even, with an extreme success, figure out that uh, some of the symbols are actually um, numbers more than actual words. Uh, you, uh, with that study, I would say that you gain an extra point in Nakal. Woo! Putting you to five, I believe. Yes. You, ah. you hear some noise in the forest. The, the, there's the sound of people yelling and barking orders. They are getting somewhat closer. Uh, yeah, gra grabbing the rifle and attempting to hide behind any of the dirt or, um, you know, getting the, the any dirt or debris between myself and the sound. All right, give me a stealth check. I'm great at those. Oh, hang on, let me, I gotta get rid of the... Mm -hmm. That's not that bad. You're two uh... points up. Do you want to spend some luck? Do you want to... I only have, I only have one luck left, so... Ooh, okay. So you try to hide as much as you can. Your outfit was not made for, you know, camouflage, <laughs> unfortunately. No. And no. you try to blend in as much as possible, but in the middle of that open field with fallen trees everywhere, pretty easy to spot. You do notice for just a moment, people coming from the forest and one of them spots you. You can see his eyes, and he instantly just raises his hand in a sort of like military motion, and they mm -hmm. all scatter. At the moment, you've seen three people. You could try a spot hidden to see if you see more. Yeah, let's do a spot hidden. Nope. No. Right now, you only see those people, and just even trying to follow them with your rifle, and just like keeping an eye on them, is a hard task. At the moment, you're not exactly sure where they are and how many they are. Okay. He's just gonna, gonna stare at him for a second, um, and and then, uh, you know, seeing seeing that they've flocked on. Eh? Hello, uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? Can you roll me a... I'm gonna say Persuade check. Persuade? Oh, yeah. Aha, oh, that was so close to a 1, but it's still I a success. I can't believe that actually worked. You got, <laughs> you got a 10, and it actually fucking worked. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is sound of muttering, speaking... You cannot really make out words. Then one of them, with a very, very heavy South American accent, just yells, No English? Perhaps? Uh, mm, wanna... Spanish? He's, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna respond. Um, in broken English, mm. uh, can he? Can he? What would be the uh, role for pretending broken English? Because he he he's got a sixty six in speaking English. He's pretty good at it. I would say an English role would actually fit because you need to know English okay. in order to speak English. So roll um, an English role. It, yeah, yeah. In broken English, let's see, fifty seven. That works. 57 yeah. is a success. Uh, he, he just kind of... Uh, some English... Uh, this is... Uh, this is... What happens here? Um, we... More people than you. You surrender. 
Or you dead? Um, I don't, not, not harm, uh, confused and kind of lost. Came here to help Doctor, Doctor Dead. Wasn't, uh, was uh, uh, was uh, was what, what's happening here? Yeah, he is, there is a long, long pause. You hear the faintest sound of whispers. Can I try to pick up what they're saying? Yeah, give me a listen roll. Success. I mean, the words themselves don't really make sense to you, okay. but the intonation is as close to what the fuck as can okay. be. They gotcha. are really confused right now. Good. With a with success with your listen check, you could also hear that both to your left and your right within the forest, there are some footsteps. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to purposely lay down the rifle, like whatever mound he's on, he's okay. going to just... <clears throat> okay. They... One of them just puts his head on the side of the tree, shows you put on the, the rifle. He starts to yell something in their own language, and they all, at the very least, you can see the ones in front of you exit the, the forest and get close to you. They are still, you know, taking aim and making sure that you are still, you know, within shot. Mm -hmm. But they are coming closer, step after step. Um... They seem yeah. confused, but also worried about something. He, he's going to kind of slowly stand up. Uh, group Pavian ex de, de Explosion. Uh, uh, bamboo expl uh, ba okay. Baboon Explosion. Okay. Uh, uh, Pavian... Uh, what? Fasten. Fasten. Can you roll me, please, a luck check? Considering you... Oh. So roll me just a d100. It okay. has to be under your luck skill, which is currently one. Yeah, one. Uh, uh, here, I'll do, a, I'll do a read lips. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's an 86. The, I, think that's, I think that'd be an extreme failure, right? The exact moment that you are trying to mimic the sound of the explosion doing the effect. Yeah. You hear from within the temple an explosion oh. and some heavy amount of dirt being pushed out from the opening. You are actually being pushed back a little bit by this explosion. Everything trembles and they are immediately panicking and start shooting at you. I need a dodge roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you get hit in the thigh. You take... Uh, let me roll that. You got lucky, buddy. You take three points of damage. It's in the PV, lower left. Yep. And you fall to the ground, a little bit limping right now. The one at the front just, like, raises his arm and starts yelling some stuff, like, stop shooting, stop shooting. It wasn't him and stuff. And... They get closer to you right now, but the ones that were on the side of the forest that were trying to like sneak around you immediately come out and rush towards you. You're now surrounded by five men with the Bolivian uniform. They are all around you, pointing you with their rifle, and you are on the ground. <laughs> Clutching at the thigh, you know, forty-two-year-old slight man. Like, <laughs> Vasuroli is lost. It's, what is going on? Why is the guns? What is happening? You did this. No, baboons. <laughs> Why are the baboons blowing up in the forest? Roll me a persuade with the penalty die. <laughs> okay, fail, 89 for a failure. They actually shoved the, the, the tip of their gun 
on your face. Uh, stop lying. He's not lying. He's talking about exploding battles. I know. They just don't believe you. <laughs> Get up. He's he's gonna look at the one that was like you know. Hey, hold on. It. It's it. Get up. Now. I'm gonna stand up and you know. You rise to your feet painfully, painfully so. Mm -hmm. um, when you hear some weird sounds from behind the soldiers, they sound like like language, but more more like whispers. It's hard to define. It's really nothing you've ever heard before, and they instantly just. Split in two groups, leaving room in front of you for one guy to come closer. He also has a soldier uniform. He's standing very tall and confident and coming to you. They all look at him with a sense of reverence and, you know, obeying him. Mm -hmm. And he just comes to you and looks at you. Could you roll me a power check, please? Uh, let me try to find it. It's on the left on your characteristics. Oh, yep. I see, yep. uh, you know, I was rolling so good. You That is like the third 89 I've rolled. Mm -hmm. For some reason, you're not exactly sh you're not exactly sure if it's his presence, his charisma, his overall, you know, like demeanor, but you cannot look that guy in the eyes. He is intimidating for some reason. And you literally have to divert your eyes. It's very odd. What, what, what is... Why the guns? What is going on? I, we, I, I, I was here to help a doctor and the doctor's head was blown off. And I've just been stumbling through the forest and then this comes out of the ground. What is happening? The man starts to speak with no hint of an accent, but in plain English. Who do you work for? Well, I mean, technically, I am my own doctor. My name is Dr. Laszlo Chrysler. I am a psychoanalyst from uh, Austria. Hmm. What are you doing so far from your country, doctor? Oh, let me see. I gotta, I gotta look at the mission briefing. I was asked to come to Bolivia to assist Doctor Gomez, and along the way, the doctor that was bringing us along was shot in the head. Ah, we are getting somewhere. Who asked you to come here? Hmm, how do I want to? The way you want to play that is up to you. Uh -huh. You have options. I do. I'm not saying any of them is good. I'm just saying you have mm -hmm. options. Hmm. I mean, I think at this point... Uh-huh. Do tell. Well, he was another doctor friend of mine, Dr. Shapiro. Uh, he has a practice in New York, something... Really, I'm just trying to get out of Austria. Things are getting a little uh, busy and heated there politically, and I'm trying to find my way out of there. Can you roll me? Because this is definitely, like, twisting the truth a little bit. I need a fast talk tr a check, please. Oh, that's an extreme success, my friend. That's a six. I see. Well, doctor, you may have stumbled into something quite interesting here in the forest. What do you make of that structure behind you? 
Well, I mean, I'm not much of a, I would say, since this is coming out of the ground, an archaeologist. Uh, but, you know, this seems like it could be something quite uh, ancient. Um, it's interesting that it's coming out of the ground on its own. Uh, really just not something that I am necessarily interested in. Also, I would be interested in the history of the kind of the mind of the people, and he would just start rambling. So are you trying to um, like drown the fish with St. French, like trying to like yep. drown him with too much information and stuff like that? Yep. And what about your friends inside? You said you had friends? I don't know if that's what we would call themselves friends as much as maybe acquaintances, but they are inside, yes. Uh, I would like if they survived, because I do want a good relationship with Dr. Sapiro, you see. So, you know, they are kind of important to me. You know, at this very moment, you might have more to gain to have a good relationship with me. Well, How attached are you? your companions inside. Well, now this is interesting. Um, could we perhaps maybe talk a little bit more once we plug the hole in my legs that one of your men put? He looks at you, smiles a little bit. He pulls out an automatic rifle and just shoots a few rounds in the air and promptly puts the hot, hot cannon of the rifle <laughs> onto your wound. Uh, you take an additional point of damage. Mm -hmm. See, now this is a problem for another day. Well, then, you know, there is better. Anyways, uh, do, do go on. Uh, you, you See, you are a man in power, and I am a man not in power right now. So that is a very, uh, you know, it's, I would be very interested. Hmm. How should I say this? You Bluntly. have a unique opportunity to ally yourself with some pretty strong people. My organization, the Inner Knight, has a lot to offer you. Would you, of course, should you, of course, accept to provide help and information? And yes, um, and where would I fall necessarily in the line of not compensation? Because I'm not really worried about being paid, but building good relationship would I be given like a home here or would I live in the squalors at the moment your main gain from this is to leave Olivia with your life which is already I feel a quite generous entry present or signing bonus if you will but I mean this is just for today's information not tomorrow's but the days after, or the months after, is up to you. We value people who can provide information on organizations such as, I don't know, say, Caduceus. Uh, could I, like, psychoanalyze or maybe do a psychology check to see if he is probing to find out if I react to C Caduceus or if he is literally just trying to put other names out there? Yes, you can, although I would ask that you roll with a penalty die because you still cannot watch him in the eyes. That's fine. Which makes reading his body language a little bit harder, but, dude, hard with that, you still do a hard success. He is probing, all right, but not impressed. exactly to see if you are part of Caduceus. That okay. part, he seems to already be convinced of. <laughs> he is more... He seems to be more probing, like, would this person be a good sort of mm -hmm. double agent? Well, I mean... 
What happens if I don't have enough information to give? I do have to cover myself, you know. Oh, well, this is part of the challenge. Part of getting good information is also to prove yourself valuable to them. And at the moment, I'm not sure if you have a lot of options. Mm. But if it makes you feel any better, we treat ours right. Right, boys? They all sort of nod. Well, Jimmy has been rather rude to me since he's... Jimmy and Percy both seem to keep continuously calling me a kraut. I am not a kraut. I am Austrian. Well, I, I, I suppose... Hmm. Well, for... Mayhaps we sit down and visit and chat. I could do some with a drink, and I have plenty to share right now. Roll unless you're on a timetable. Roll me another luck check. <laughs> yeah. 46, you needed one. Another explosion, much further, resonates from inside the building. This seems to be really muffled, as in... This is probably happening far, probably deep, to be honest. Oh, my friend, it seems that we are on a timetable. Mm. That makes sense. So then I have... Here's what I'm offering you. I will, with my friends, get down here and recover what we needed to recover. If you accept my deal, you will be offered to leave this place alive and lick your wounds of sorts. And then I will contact you, me or some of my associates, to give you further instructions on what to look out with your employer. If you refuse, well, unfortunately, I feel like Bolivia is going to be your end of the line. I know that this does not look, sound like a fair choice, but it is a choice nonetheless. Now, above the table, your answer is going to be uh, either yes or no, but also mm -hmm. if you answer yes, it can be the truth or a lie. Mm -hmm. If you are saying yes and you and to that person i need you to send me in private if you are actually meaning that or not mm -hmm. okay nobody including the viewers including the other players will know that that may not be okay so the doctor okay. laszlo what would you care to join us down this interesting building well, let, let me ask you a follow-up question. Okay. Say I agree, and uh, frankly, you offer a great deal. Uh, but would I be welcome to stay here in Bolivia if I decided to take up and make a life here? Mm. Or would you expect me to travel abroad and discover more about this, uh, this I believe you called it a caduceus? You would probably have to travel a bit more and see more of the world. You are more than welcome to stay in Bolivia if you want, but trust me, the political landscape here does not make it for a good residence at the moment. No, I'm, I'm just trying to uh, find myself a nice quiet place where, where I might be able to live and read my books. Um, I'm afraid that at be... the moment... A quiet place may not be in the stars for a lot of people. Mm. Unless, so. of course, they are well surrounded and well protected. Or along the, the, the uh, winning side, if you will. I mean, history is written by the victors, isn't it? This is true. Ah, Why don't I say yes? And as a gesture of goodwill, I guess, 
there are at least three that went down that tunnel. Yes. Uh, two of them are very good with weapons. One of them, she is quite frightening, but she <laughs> is not quite as good with weapons. That is useful information. He extends his hand. Is there any way that I might further my knowledge on a language called Nikal? He starts to speak very comfortably and very fast in a language that sounds very much a lot like Nikal. Can I make a Nikal roll to try to... Yes, please. Let's get rid of the penalty die. Uh -huh. Come on. Ah. Oh. It got tied up on the zero yeah. zero two again. You can recognize a few words here and there, but they are just going so fast and so fluently that it it really overwhelms you after a bit. But you can see, in, like in his demeanor, that he has sensed a semblance of recognition in what you were trying to grasp. It's like, I think that can be done. Are you? Last well, shake good, his hand. Are you a good reader? Oh, I love reading. Expect a few books in the near future. He shakes Excellent. your hand. His grip is tight. Like Yeah, Lazlo's is not. Yeah, no. <laughs> Lazlo's hand is definitely creaking a little bit. All right. Let's continue. And in the meantime, let's keep up appearances, shall we? Hands up. He, the, the, the rifle there has four rounds. He, he starts to lead you towards your staircase. He, uh, roughly halfway through, he turns to his like, nice touch. I continue just walking up. You start to go down that tunnel. It becomes dark real, real, real fast. They light up some torches. And now you can see the outside of the the, the, the like walls of this sort of circular tunnel. Uh, was there a mural on the tunnel like he was looking for? Yes, indeed. And all around you are a very intricate and detailed mural. Everything around you. You start to walk down. You can see that now, after a few revolution around the building, the ground has been sort of like stabbed with something you can see a knife into the the ground which is odd the, the ground is made of stone a quick look at it shows you that the better part of the next portion of the the, the floor is actually some sort of pressure plate that your group apparently jammed <laughs> you can also see that that portion of the ground has been removed and it's composed of very intricate and very detailed cogwheels and brass works and pipes of all sorts, all leading towards a slit in the wall that seemed to release some sort of blade. But at the moment, the system is jammed. You continue to reach a point where the walls are covered in soot and are heavily damaged. Not to the point where it created a hole, but definitely an explosion happened here. You continue going down and you hear multiple, multiple screams and gunshots. Oh, a lot seems to be happening here. And as you feel like you're reaching the proximity of those shots, you can see uh, Percy at the end of the corridor shooting something towards the inside of the building, shooting a spread of bullets. From where you are, you cannot really see what is inside. All you can see is an enormous serpent-like tongue uh, trying to real, reach him. Real quick, before we get too much yes. further, about halfway down, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if I may, uh, if we are taking up appearances, Perhaps it would be wise to uh, gag me so as to prevent me from shouting to alert them that we are coming? I like the way you think. He snaps his fingers and one of your, one of his associates just gag you. Mm -hmm. 
And as you're getting closer to and closer, you can see this sort of snake-like tongue that mm. is probably seven inches in diameter, trying mm. to reach uh, Percy. But he just unloads his rifle and just yeah, and the thing recoils. Whatever it is, it is gigantic. And Percy looks a little bit worse for wear and a little bit, well, a mixture of angry and panicked. There mm. is at the moment no trace of either Jimmy or Winifred. But as Percy turns to you and you just, with your hands up, accompanied by those armed people, this is where we're going to stop this interlude and see next time what exactly is going to end up with that. <laughs> so I expect a message from you to see if you are actually going to play along with that or not. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we will adjust that accordingly. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this little uh, like interlude. And we will see each other at the next episode of The, Ser the Two-Headed Serpent. See you guys.